Icy again, but sunny. Frosty again, yet sunny. And it's quite cold too. Anyway, good now the weather report's out of the way. Good morning. I'm in the car park and will you walk down through to go to the seawall, but I'm not going to go that way today. I'm going to be walking up Dawlish Road instead. So I plan to take a walk up Dawlish Road and cut into the Rowdens. Now the Rowdens is like the top entrance to Mules Park. It takes you into the top of Mules Park anyway, which I intend to walk down through to go on my normal route. Woodbury Road over there, where I walked down the other day, Boyd's Drive, up over the um, green bit, which I was talking about. And I'm just near the Clifton Hotel now. Um, well, actually, right next to it. There's a sign. So. And here's the Clifton looking down. The road is called Clifton Close, and that's the entrance. Just in there. In the meantime though, I'm heading on up Dawlish Road still. Nice straight tree. It's a wreck tree. Vicar lives there. Or did years ago, don't know if it's still a religious house or not. Here I am. People say I never show my face. Here's my face. Haha. <laughs> Back when I was younger, I used to jump up there in between those gate posts. It was a bit easier back then, you know, that fence wasn't there and that, and you could cut across to the top of Barn Park and Woodway, where I was filming the other day. I'm about parallel with that at the moment, on the Dawlish Road. One of the more relatively new properties we built on this road. Nearly at the Rowdens now. Just over this bit of green. It all makes sense. Here we go, we're at the Rowdens. So what exactly is the Rowdens? Well, basically it's like the top of Mules Park before Mules Park was Mules Park. Um, so when I was younger, like I say, jumping up over walls to get to Barn Park Road and that, Mules Park didn't really exist. I mean, obviously the fields were here, but it was no such thing as Mules Park. And we would go to the Rowdens, which was this bit up here and come in through here and um, that's the building that I film often when I'm in Mules Park we'll see it again in a sec but um, the Rowdens were some fields up here where you could sort of walk and come in and mess around and play football and uh, it went across onto the top of the cliffs as well and um, I say it was called the Rowdens but then Mules Park sort of appeared or became official with a uh, proper sort of signposts and pathways and directions etc etc and um, it's sort of like the Rowden sort of melted into the top of Mules Park so anyway here we go I'm at the top of Mules Park now some of you regular viewers will recognize that's the uh, house like I say used to be a school many many years ago but when I used to come up it was an abandoned building as a child and it'll been redone for flats. So I'm over here at the top of Mules Park now. And my plan is to walk down the water side of Mules Park, where the lakes are, and see if anything's iced up. Probably hasn't, because it's, it's cold, but it's not that cold, unfortunately, for icing up. Certainly some frost on the ground. It was supposedly about one o'clock last night or two o'clock in the morning. It was supposed to be snowing briefly in Timber, about half a centimetre. Don't know if it did or not, but it was supposed to have. New little fence there. That wasn't there last time I came along.
taking little steps, I don't want to slip and fall. <laughs> A lovely squirrel up there just now but by the time I managed to get focused and zoomed in it jumped off and disappeared typical so just imagine a squirrel and um, my job is done lovely and quiet Not really iced up at all, like I thought it might be. I haven't passed a single person since I've been up here today. It's unusual. Normally I'm tripping over people, walking dogs and hello, hello, you know. I really thought there might be a cascade of ice. Perhaps next time. I haven't passed anyone yet. Crazy. There we go, almost at the bottom of Mules Park. Where I intend to go down walking the sea wall. See some trains. Yay! Trains! See that bank of fog along the river there? That's known locally as the Larry, L-A-R-R-Y, like a bloke's name. And it goes back to the days of smugglers when they'd use the Larry's coming tomorrow as a code word for coverage for their illegal activities. And it's kind of stuck. So that's the Larry in Timmouth there, resplendent in its all its foggy glory. Looking pretty icy still up on the... Uh, Observation deck above the yacht club. Good old seawall, my favourite walk of all. Gonna confess, it's actually warmed up a bit. I've taken off my woolly hat for the first time in three days outside, and it's not too bad. So, can't complain. Well, that's the third train that's gone towards Exeter. I missed filming one of them. And um, I haven't seen any trains yet coming towards me. It's a little bit strange. 
first one coming towards me. Someone asked me in the comments the other day about the official line on riding bikes along the wall. As I say, people do and no one really cares, but that's the sign. Apparently you shouldn't, but you do. I think that was a pigeon. Probably a bird of prey, I suppose. Doubt there's any cats out here or anything. Well, the Larry has dispersed, so if you're planning to smuggle anything, put plans on hold till next time. There we go, coming to the end of my walk. Done about four miles, not bad. Yep, calling it a day. Nice walk that was. So you got me four miles in and it did indeed warm up. In fact, I'm a little bit hot in my coat now. So that's a good start. Hopefully it'll be a bit warmer tomorrow and I can get for a bit of a longer one. All good, anyway, see you tomorrow. Same time, same place and thanks for watching. Cheers.